this is Amy Wan with Security Token Academy. I'm here with Kinsey Cronin from Prime Trust. Welcome, Kinsey. Thanks, Amy. So, you know, Prime Trust is a custodian, especially one that's well known in the crypto and security token space. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what is the difference between a regular crypto custodian and what we know as a qualified custodian? Okay, so um, the word custodian there is kind of that's really kind of the key, right? So if you were to want to store some money, right? Yeah. Um, the idea of going to a non-registered, non-regulated um, financial institution, so basically a company that has technology that can hold funds, that's similar to taking your dollars and asking your neighbor to hold it in a safe for you, as opposed to going to a bank, which is regulated um, and it adheres to the laws that apply to banks and provides you with some additional protection. Now when you use the word qualified, um, that's a little bit tricky. It's kind of borrowed from the traditional securities industry. We have to be pretty careful because we don't want to be misleading. The company hasn't been directly approved by any, any particular entity. It's really more that we are a regulated financial institution. So what comes along with being regulated? I assume you have to get licensure and things of that sort, right? Yes, so we are a Nevada chartered trust company. Um, so we had to go through the process of building a trust and registering and then complying because it's not just about initially getting um, the registration, but it's also about following through with the rules that apply to how you can conduct your business if that's the type of business you are. So, at least in the security token industry, there seem to be a lot of challenges um, today that the industry is still trying to work around, especially around the issue of custodianship. Can you talk about a couple of those, those issues or, or challenges? Yeah, um, absolutely. There, there are so many reasons to have a, a custodian, right? But there are also a lot of challenges surrounding does your custodian have the technology that matches well with what you're doing, right? So there are plenty of custodians out there who hold all types of assets, um, custodians that hold art and gold and money, uh, but do they have the infrastructure necessary to connect to a blockchain. So if you want to custody something that's digital, now you're talking about looking for a tech company. So at Prime Trust, we call ourselves a tech-driven uh, trust company because we're really very much focused on the technology that allows us to hold cryptocurrencies. Do you feel like the um, future of the STO industry is going to be primarily self-custodial or through a traditional custodian? Oh, I think it will definitely be through traditional custodians. And why is that? Because it's you're talking about the security token industry. So holding on to most people, most people don't hold their securities on their own, right? So most people do not decide to keep stacks of um, certificates that claim their ownership of securities in their home. Sometimes they do, and that's okay. And uh, But typically, if you are going to hold massive amounts of stocks, you're not going to choose to leave those in your home. Uh, similarly, it would be unlikely that you would choose to keep those on your own hard drive or, or on your own hardware. Uh, it makes more sense to keep all of that together in a place of business that's designated for that type of business. So if the security token industry takes off, do you see it having a uh, large impact on companies like CD and Co or DTCC? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, look, it's it's a new it's going to have an impact on the entire industry because it it is in some ways it's not different at all. It's just um, split ownership and the markets will move, but there's a technology that's going to come in and basically change everything. And I think I probably should have mentioned for your earlier question, one of the reasons that I would expect that more security tokens would be list, would be kept with custodians than would be kept otherwise is because people are going to want to be keeping those on exchanges and exchanges will need to be using custodians um, to, to keep all of those securities secure. But if you want to, the, the purpose really behind all this is to gain liquidity, which means that you are going to want those securities to be out there available for the possibility of trading. Um, do you have any insight on what the SEC's attitudes are <laughs> towards STOs and, and all the issues around custodianship? 
I, I wish. <laughs> I don't have any special insight to the SEC. I do think that uh, from what I've seen, there's been so many decisions made that are in the direction, in the same direction that the uh, security token industry is trying to move in. So if you start sort of with like the crowdfunding laws, the Jobs Act, there's definitely a lot of movement in that direction coming, coming from the government side. So I would anticipate support. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Amy. This is Amy Wan with the Security Token Academy.